Hey YouTube, Taylor of Tennessee. This is one of my tomatoes out of my garden. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> no, it's not. It's covered with anthracnose. Uh, it's a fungus. I was looking forward to trying to show y'all how to do some canned bruschetta uh, using my own garden tomatoes, but I'm not gonna chance using this in a canning project. They're still edible. Uh, you can slice them up and cut out all the bad spots. Um, it just doesn't look very appetizing. I mean, um, I'm, I'm really disappointed in this, but for those of you who are new to gardening and wondering, you know, find the same thing on your own tomatoes, that's what it is, anthracnose. Um, there are preventative measures for this. I'm, I'm still learning. Um, this is only about my fourth or fifth year of gardening. Fourth year. So this is all a learning experience for us. Last year we didn't get any tomatoes because we lost them all to early blight. We had such a rainy spring and summer and just nothing survived. Uh, so I was so proud this year when I, I was getting these huge healthy looking tomatoes and then bam all of a sudden I, you know, I start noticing in my windowsill ripening getting this stuff all over them. So yeah, it's disappointing. Uh, in my gardener, a uh, young man in Michigan has uh, he talks a little bit about how to prevent early blight and next year I'll be mixing up the baking soda and water and, and vegetable oil and spraying my my tomatoes on a weekly basis um, to try to prevent this from happening again because let me swing over here so I can show you if I can over my kitchen sink there's all my tomatoes. Aren't that great? That one looks really good right there. Do you turn around and get that? So, yeah. Big disappointment this year. Hopefully y'all don't experience the same. Hopefully y'all are getting a better crop. But, oh well. Live and learn. Thanks for watching.